Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So the most recent episode of Doctor Who called Boom saw the return of former showrunner and executive producer Stephen Moffat, seven years after he'd last worked on the show. Moffat has made no secrets of the fact that Boom was at least partially inspired by a moment in a pretty famous Tom Baker story, that being the landmine scene in Genesis of the Daleks. Now obviously unlike Boom, this scene in Genesis only lasts for a few minutes. The fourth Doctor accidentally steps on a landmine, in the middle of a minefield. It's then up to one of his companions, Harry Sullivan, to try and save the Doctor, and he obviously succeeds wedging a large enough rock in between the Doctor's foot and the landmine itself, so that the Doctor can take his foot off it without triggering it. So the whole thing is fairly easily resolved. But this raises a question. What if things had gone differently? What if the fourth Doctor had spent an entire episode stuck on that mine? What if Boom was made in 1975? Now I have to once again thank one of my graphic designers, Billy Bob, for this idea. As soon as he suggested it, I thought it would make for an interesting little twist. And I also have him to thank for the thumbnail I've used for this video. Now obviously the chances that they would have made an episode like Boom back in 1975 are pretty low. Stephen Moffat would only have been 14 years old at the time, so he would have been too young to write it himself. Plus I don't think Boom easily fits into how the show was back then. The Tom Baker era didn't really do any sort of character pieces in the way that the Nshuti Gatwa era has recently done with Boom. But if we suspend our disbelief and engage in some kind of fantasy, then it would make for an interesting enough scenario. Perhaps instead of Moffat, either Terry Nation, Terence Dix, or Robert Holmes wrote this alternate version of Boom. Terry Nation did write Genesis of the Daleks after all, so if we use that landmine scene as the basis for a 1975 version of Boom, then it would make sense that it would be written by him. But then again, I could imagine Robert Holmes writing it instead, even if it would be very different to the type of stories he normally wrote. Terence Dix could also potentially be an option. Whoever would have written it, I could imagine it still being as dramatic and suspenseful as the one we got in our timeline. The political anti-capitalist sides of the episodes might have been turned down a little due to how the show approached such fins back in the 1970s. But considering that the previous John Pertwee era is arguably one of the most political in the show's entire history, I think it would still be in there. Just not quite in the same way, due to Terry Nation, Terence Dix or Robert Holmes having very different ways of writing to Stephen Moffat. I think this alternate version of Boom would have helped a lot to flesh the fourth Doctor, Sarah Jane and Harry out as a TARDIS team. Harry especially would probably need it, as I don't think he ever really had much chance to shine and develop in our timeline. Harry would probably take charge of the situation, with Sarah doing her best to keep the Doctor calm by engaging in their usual banter with each other. Although since Harry could be a bit of an imbecile at times, 
I bet Sarah would have to help him figure out what to do sometimes. This alternate version of Boom would probably work best as its own separate story, rather than as merely the first episodes of a slightly altered Genesis of the Daleks. But since most of season 12's stories tended to directly lead into each other, I'm sure this would also be the case with Boom and Genesis. If we wanted to keep the guest characters from our timeline's version of Boom, then they would obviously have to be played by different actors, since they'd been played by people who would either be too young or not alive yet to play them in 1975. We could get a bit silly and have Louise Jameson as Mundy, so as to still keep the future companion actor playing a different role feeling. We could even have the actor who played Leela's love interest Andred, Christopher Tranchall, play Mundy's love interest Kanto, just to be even sillier and more on the nose with Doctor Who's continuity. Bernard Cribbins could star as John Vater, with another almost Doctor, Graham Crowden, as his orderly at the beginning of the episode called Carson. A very young Sarah Sutton could play John Vater's daughter, Splice, with Peter Pratt as the villain guard, Algorithm, so as to tease his future appearance as the Master one year later. Okay, yeah, maybe those castings are a bit too silly, but I just thought, why not have a bit of fun with it? Reception to this alternate boom would have probably still been fairly positive, just like it's mostly been in our timeline, but perhaps it might have a knock-on effect on the rest of the classic series. Perhaps it would lead to the show having more character-focused stories during the rest of the 1970s and into the 80s. This might mean that the classic series would no longer have this reputation of not fleshing out its main characters as much as the new series has done, which would be really fascinating. But anyway, so there's my quick take on what if Boom was made in 1975. But what do you think? Do you like my take on it or not? And would you have done anything differently? Please let me know in the comments section below. And please don't worry. I will still be doing my What If the 1985 Hiatus Never Happened video. And it will hopefully still be coming out very soon. I just wanted to have a bit of fun and do something a bit shorter. Anyway, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to press that subscribe button below, as well as press the bell icon at the side of it, so that you'll stay notified of when all my new videos come out. Also, please rate and comment below your thoughts on all of this. And please feel free to donate to my Ko-fi page, link in the description, or send me a YouTube super thanks below, if you want to, of course. And I shall see you all in another video. So, until next time, bye bye Harry, I'm standing on a landmine. Shift. If I move my foot, it might decimate it. Don't move your foot. I won't.